then I am in Tokyo at the moment, which is really fun. I'm here also with some of the family. Of course, Paul is in the background. My mama is here. So she's debuting also on my upcoming journey up with me, Tokyo. Um, but we're gonna do some makeup because we've been invited by Dior Beauty for their newest launch of the Love Out Loud Dior Parfum. So it's time to do skin. I'm a little bit nervous because I asked Jelly, of course, what makeup to do. And he said, fresh and clean lang. <laughs> and you know me being a glam girl <laughs> the restraint is needed so let's get ready together it's cute with the bowl Yo. <laughs> okay so i'm gonna go for a glowy base and like barely their coverage because my skin is skinning but just want to let some product shine so of course this is the D dior forever glow veil i use this on the high points of my face and sparingly because it is hot here in Japan at the moment. So just on the high points, cheekbones, above brows, under brow, a little bit on the bridge and a little bit on the chin. After this, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna go to Kyoto and Osaka and I'm really excited for her to experience because I feel like Tokyo is really the bustle metropolitan side of Japan, but like Kyoto is like old world charm. Then I'm gonna go very sparingly with the Forever Skin Glow. This is in 2N, which is my color mostly throughout all of the Dior products of my face and work out just to really like disperse the coverage. Okay, that's, that's mostly centered on the middle. And then because I wanna continue with the glowiness, I'm just going in with a little bit of glowy skin finish in a darker shade. And then for the rest of the face, I'm gonna go in with the Dior Face and Body Foundation, which is much more of a lighter finish. And I'll, oh, I hit the camera. And I'll go in with a 3W just to add some dimension to the outside of the face. And yes, that is very maarte in using three products for the fez, but we're here for Dior Beauty, so it's worth it. <laughs> Going in with the Forever Skin Correct. This formula, I like to let it sit under the eyes just a little bit. And then I'm going to do like a more of a stamping motion for the under eye concealer. <laughs> and I'm gonna take some setting powder, just to set the under eye. Yeah. I'm going with this Becca Light palette. It has like a darker shade. I'll use that for contour. I'm just gonna take a bit of the contour. The top of my cheeks just for a more youthful placement. And also I like to layer my blushes because with a cream and a powder, it's like usually blush is the first thing to go or to fade in my makeup. So I just like to kind of feel like I'm locking it in by doing the layer. And I'm taking one of my favorite Dior Rosy Glow brush blushes. This is in Rosewood. So I'll take a brown toned pink and then just layering that over the cream. Let's add a bit of brow highlight using this color, just the lighter one. Just here. Um. <laughs> I have like a mark here that always looks like a smudge, but it's just a bow. Well, these are the new ones, Pala, the new microblade pen perfectors from Strokes. They just relaunched it. It has some new colors. Okay, these are two things that I was really looking forward to using the Forever Glow Maximizer. I have the pink and the pearlescent, and I don't know which one I want to use. Maybe pink. Wow, it's very pinkening. Wow, she's she's really maximizing. Okay, wait. <laughs> So I'm ready for Kyoto. Thank you so much. Ooh, it's pretty dope. How do you want to do that? So big balls. So I'm a bento. Pasolai. It's not a bento. Three, two, one, go, go, go. Let's go this one. It's the zero four three. Wow, wala talaga akong eyeliner, hindi talaga ako sanay. Yeah, oh damn, the glow is glowing. I know, it's like boom. <laughs> and that is the finished look. Sorry, I went and got changed and I forgot about you guys, but I came back to finish it anyway. <laughs> 